Hi, my name is Justina. I'm the founder and main innovator here at Practices Academy, which is a platform that helps you throughout your SEMA P1 studies. From different students, I hear that P1 exam seems to be a difficult one. And we have also the recent pass rates that prove that. So I've decided to change that. Here at PTA, we've developed an online interactive video course for P1 Management Accounting paper. Our online complete course is designed to offer SEMA students the structure, flexibility and support they need to pass their strategic level exams at a fraction of the price that other well-established institutions would charge. We even use the same tutors to make sure we offer you the best possible quality. Everyone wants something different from their tuition provider. Jack is working full-time and has a very limited amount of time. He wants to be efficient in his studies, watch engaging but to the point videos so he can stay motivated throughout his studies. Jane prefers to study on the go, via her phone. She needs good and condensed study notes. Ben learns best by doing, by practicing questions after every chapter, every part, and then mixed mock simulations. 600 revision questions is just what he requires to boost his confidence. talking about the practical issues of making financial decisions and how you make those from the perspective of trying to improve the organisation's performance. So not only does it make you a better accountant, it also makes you much, much more commercially aware as well. So I hope you enjoy it, um, studying the paper as much as I enjoy teaching it. The syllabus here has got four elements to it. 30% um, is cost accounting systems, so we're going to be looking there at things like modern management accounting techniques, such as throughput accounting, uh, life cycle costing, target costing, but we'll also be looking at slightly more traditional techniques like full costing, um, marginal costing and activity-based costing. Variance analysis calculations for chapter eight. So variances is all about comparing actual to plan and breaking down the difference between actual to plan to a volume element and a price element. Now, when you're putting your standards together and building your budgets up, there are various different um, attitudes you can have when you're putting them together. You've got the uh, basic standard, which is a long run average so you might say, you know, on average, it takes us so many thousand dollars to make a car. That's not reflecting current performance, it's performance over a period of time. That's not great for putting budgets and standards together because it includes performance as was a little while ago. We've got ideal standards as well, which assumes perfection. No breaks, no mistakes, everyone going flat out. And that will always yield adverse variances because you're trying to achieve perfection, which just isn't possible. And then we've got attainable standards, which are the best ones for building budgets. That's how we're performing now, only a little bit better. So building in a bit of efficiency improvements um, and allowing for things like routine breaks. It's therefore motivating for employees. So if you're still watching this video, that means that you see the value behind this course. Once again, you're going to get access to our videos by chapters done by one of the best tutors out there they're going to get our summary notes in PDFs. They're going to get access to the huge database of questions that you can practice before your exam. And last but not least, you will be among people who are just like you struggling with P1 exam. I always say that it's much better to invest in your education upfront than to pay to receive the exam. Click the button below to start our P1 journey with us 
Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Bye!